Oh my goodness, we're gonna make Duke look like the Easter Bunny. Look, 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 look. There goes his ears. We're gonna make you look like the Easter Bunny. Ooh wee. Duke for Easter. Now he's got his Easter Bunny ears. Isn't that funny? Today I am going to show you how to take this image here and warp it. And as a bonus, I'll show you also how we can do text. So the first thing I want to do is head over to my apps, type in warp brush, enter, and then you'll see it right here. And then once we go in here, you have three things you can do. Grow and shrink. I haven't really found a good way for them to do anything, but we'll look at them too. But the only thing that I've really been really playing with is the warp. So once you click on that, you're going to get a brush size and a brush strength. So I noticed when I first come over here, my area is huge my for my brush. So I always click on it and turn it back down. So it's like a normal size for me to warp with. And the strength. So you can turn it all the way up and have like a bigger draw on it or, or so. But I'm going to keep it kind of in the middle for right now for us to play with. So what I want to do with this image is I just want to drag her down. So you can see that it's starting to drag that down like so. And I can warp this out. Say so maybe I want to kind of warp her legs down and make her look like her pants are bigger. Uh, oh, that's a kind of way to kind of adjust that if you need to. Now she's got longer pants on. She's not cut off right there. So, and the other thing I kind of was doing with, like, is to warp it. Kind of makes it look like she has more hair, too. So I can bring her hair out and make it kind of bigger and do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can make her sunglasses drip. Make her look like she's crying. So you can do all kinds of things and just start warping, morphing, and ballooning this stuff out. So like, say, I want to make her outfit kind of look like that I like those sleeves way better than the sleeves that came with so there's like that kind of stuff you can do and start pulling her hair out a little bit kind of making it more like ooh, oh she's got a heart in her hair now so that's kind of stuff you can do with the warp which is kind of cool just get in there and start warping things around now here is the issue I see with the warp so I'm gonna push the brush strength all the way up to 100 and I'm going to start pulling. But see, you can pull, but when you save it, it stops. It's not like she's in the middle and you can pull it down to the bottom of the page. So here is a workaround for that. So let's see if I can get her back to her original image, which is this right here. So what you can do if that's an issue. So what I want to do, if you want to warp, warp upwards, or downwards and you see your purple line around here that's close to the edge what you're gonna do is just make another PNG with a lot so like say I want a lot of space around her because maybe I want to warp her a lot here I want to go this way this way this way and this way and I want to do it a lot so I need a lot of room around it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this download PNG and download it I'm going to move this one over here. And then I'm going to bring her back in here. Once she's loaded in, I'm going to remove the background. See how my box is so much bigger? So now, when I go into warp, and let's say I want to see when I go back in there how big my brush is, even though it's on a low number. So you're just going to have to like do that. See if I put it right back on like 80. See how small it is now? Okay, so we're going to make... See, now I can warp her. Like, I can keep dragging this warp down, down, down. So if you want, like, a hard, like, drip kind of warp effect coming down, now you have all that room to do that with. You know, everybody always wants a soft edge. I kind of like this to have an edge versus that. You know, having that hard edge, if I was doing something, maybe just take it and just pull that image down like so. And then have like a little staggered edge 
versus having like a hard edge right there. So as you can see the difference in this one, if I save this one and then I bring it back up, let me take all this off here and then I bring it back up and make it big. See now I have all that room. If I did the same one here and warped her, see, and then save that, then it just stops. It just cold stops there and I can't go any further. But now because I've made this other, all this space here, now I can pull her as far as I want to pull her. Kind of not like that because that's kind of weird looking, but we'll go and warp her. See how, it, look how big that thing is every time. That's good. But let's like pull her hair and make her hair like be going really, really far out. And really like going and rapunzel -y. And I can pull it going way this away. So now I can just keep going. I can keep pulling because I have that space. So you see that little trick to do that, that you can keep that and kind of make her look like she's, so like now if you wanted to do like her hair looks like it's a splash effect. So now that looks like her hair is like a splash effect. That's kind of cool. And like I said, you can do the drippy eyes. Oh, I don't like that one. But uh, now she looks really mean. La, 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 la. Okay, I'm playing too much. But that's how you do that. Um, and you have to push save or it's going to revert back to what it was beforehand. So let's look at grow. As you can see, brush is very big again. Little glitchy, I guess. So grow, you just blop it and it does this. I don't, let's, I mean, I really don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not utilizing this right. Maybe some of y'all know how, uh, I don't know. Cancel, shrink, Jesus thing. Boom. Maybe I want to make her lips smaller. Oh, her lips turned into something. Yeah, I, I don't really see anything I would really use this for. Maybe if I needed to shrink her hair up, I don't, yeah. Like, I don't really know. I was hoping that you could kind of use, make like a 3D effect out of it. Maybe if you want to make her look like Picasso, you could use shrink and then grow. I don't know. I really don't see no need, no use for these at the moment. Um, if y'all do in the comments, let me know so I can play around and see what we can do. All right. So let's get to text. Let's go over here, get to text. So the cheat way for text for me is one, you're going to have to either create your text and bring it back in as a PNG and remove the background, or you can go into apps and go and do let's my apps and see, cause I know what's got it's in here somewhere. Go like into text my maker. So let's pick out this one. Let's put my name in there. Michelle. And add that to the design. So when you get this, this is already a image that you can go and work off of. So we'll go back into apps. Go back into my apps. Let's see. Go in a warp brush. Warp and then the same thing. Look, big. It's not big. It's 71. I mean, how big is the big one? Go, 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 getting tongue tied here, y'all. All right. So with this, we can start pulling it down, but you're going to have the same problem. So if you want to make your tail long with this, you're going to have the same problem. So if I save that, look, they're cut off at the end. So... Let's go back, get my original. So you would have to do the same thing. So what I would do is get your text. So file, download, PNG, 
page two, done, download. Move this over in the corner. Bring this one in. Let it load. Remove the background. And now we have all the space here. Oh, it removed the background on this one. Icky. Well, it's for demonstration purposes, so we'll just keep on using it. So now we can do this pulling, and you can pull it as much as you want to at this point. And make it way weird. Oh, I should have left that. I like that little. It almost looks like a little lake effect going on there. Now I'm just playing with these. I'm not trying to do anything special with these because this is a new app and I haven't really played with it that much. I just want to try to get what's going on within this app. So you could do things like that. Um, we'll cancel. Let's make it bigger. It kind of made me mad it did that. I didn't, I didn't like that background remove. Let's go into one I did earlier because I think the background remove better than that. Uh, uploads. Do, 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 do. We gotta go up here. Um. Oh yeah, I was playing with the other warp app, but you can you can't do that, but so much with that. No, I don't have one. I have the ones that I did earlier. Yes, I've got a hot mess in here, but we'll keep playing with this one for the moment. But let's see if we do it without removing the background, see what it does. So let's go into back into the app. Do 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 warp. Take that brush eyes back down. Pull. 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 Like say you want to put some like little make it look kind of fiery. Let's do it that way. Oh, you know, if you did this with orange, this would look like flames. I know I'm babbling, and we're just playing around here. But you, you learn things by playing, right? Experiments. Let's see if we can drag it all. Keep dragging it all the way down. Let's see how far we can drag one of these. Let's see if I can pull some of that blue down in here, too. There we go. See, so you as much room as you got inside here is how much you're gonna do. You can uh, manipulate it. So if this was like red, you could, that really looks like fire. So it's another fun thing you can try to use. Um, also, this would be good for trying to make your own kind of like graffiti looking text because you could kind of like warp it to kind of make it look like graffiti text. Oh, that's a good idea, too. So now it kind of looks kind of graffiti-ish. Ooh, awesome. You know what I'm saying? So that was something I tried. So let's go and cancel that and then back. And let's try the grow. I'm going to put the brush. We're going to do the str brush strength. Let's go real low and see what happens. Um, oh, let's go and fill it. Yeah, I still, I don't know. Y'all might need to find some kind of, please, if you find something cool to do with this, please leave it in the comments because I would like to try something with this to see if it does anything like cool. Um, for right now, it's just kind of, I don't know, weird. All right, so we're going to try to shrink with this. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. I am, an, well, I guess maybe if you were kind of trying to make it look maybe etched a little bit. Like it was kind of like, I don't know, somebody's crinkling it up like a piece of paper. That could work. So let's cancel that and let's go with shrink. Let's go down like this with the, keep that brush size low. And then kind of see if we could take that in 
those edges and maybe we need some more brush strength and do those in and then we could get it kind of make it like a crinkle like it's getting crunched up like crunchy paper maybe I don't know y'all But in a nutshell, that's the app. And maybe it'll improve on some things. Like I said before, please leave something in the comments if you if you figure out something that you can do, especially with Grow and Shrink, to make it cool. I was hoping I could use it to do that like 3D puff effect. Uh, but no, I tried. It just didn't work out for me. Um, that didn't work out either. That wasn't cute. And that's it for this tutorial. Like I said, please, 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 if you anything new, you figure out what this stuff, put it in the comments. I would love to know. Love to grow. So on that note, I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.